In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top free puzzle games for the Galaxy Watch 4. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different types of tech reviews, tips, tutorials, and more. And I've reviewed a whole bunch of different smartwatches, including the Galaxy Watch 4. You might have a Galaxy Watch 4 and you're probably looking for some games for that watch. And in this video, it is my goal to give you guys some great puzzles, brain teasers, and other things to occupy your time so you can not only use your watch to tell time, but also have some fun with it. So I'm going to be giving you guys my top free puzzle game apps. And this video is actually part of a series of videos that I've done on my top best free apps for the Galaxy Watch. Other apps such as great music apps, productivity apps, health apps, and more. And you can find those listed in the playlist down in the video description below. But without further ado, I want to show you guys some of my favorite puzzle games so that you can have fun when you've got some spare time. So let's talk about Hex Anxiety Relief. And we're going to go into this app. And essentially it's a puzzle app that deals with rotating different lines and shapes and you'll notice here as I just kind of tap the screen that these different lines uh, will rotate and you have to figure out the pattern of what connects all of these different lines together and I'll show you what it's going to look like when we finish the puzzle so I was able to connect all the dots and that completes the puzzle this is actually puzzle number eight. So they start off very simplistic and then they continue to get harder as you continue on. Uh, so a very uh, brain challenging puzzle to keep you thinking. Very simplistic. You just rotate the different pieces to create or connect all of the dots. So the next game puzzle app I want to tell you about is 15 Puzzle. And if we go into 15 Puzzle, it's one of those little slider puzzles. Like I, I remember I used to get these uh, when I would go to parties and stuff and the little like favor bags, you'd, you'd get these little plastic slide puzzles and that's exactly what this puzzle looks like. Um, let's go ahead and tap the screen and uh, I see I've already got the first row, one, two, three, four set, but five is down here. So you just keep tapping the different numbers until they get into the order that you want and you know now that I think about it I was never really good at these particular puzzle games so this one's probably gonna take me a while um, but this is slide puzzle and uh, or this one is 15 puzzle ideally you want to get all the numbers one two three four all the way down to 15 being in that lower corner and if you're able to do that you are a better person than I am so another great puzzle game is going to be energy anti-stress loops and let's jump into this so this is another great puzzle game that wants you to connect the different points to complete the puzzle the puzzles start off very easy and then continue to get more challenging as you move through it I like the colorful backgrounds and essentially you just tap on the different shapes to rotate them to connect all the different lines enabling you to complete the puzzle and I'll just show you some examples you have to connect all the points so that they light up and now we've completed that particular puzzle when we're done we can move on to the next one as you can see a little bit more challenging let's see uh, if I'm able to put this puzzle together and I notice that the lines don't light up until I've put the uh, line in the correct spot oh so close if I can finish that up. Yeah, look at that. So just an example of the cool different puzzles you can do with energy. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot that looks just like this guy on my shirt. And he briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. So if you happen to spot Tinker popping up somewhere during this video, be the first person to let me know the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted Tinker popping up. Let me know that down in the comments section along with your best comment. Hey, let me know what your favorite game, your favorite puzzle game is from this video as well. 
and uh, be on the lookout for Tinker. If you're that first person to correctly tell me his timestamp, I'm going to put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page, as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So the next gaming app I want to tell you about is Solitaire Wearable. And uh, yes, yeah, so you can play Solitaire right on your watch. If you're not familiar with how to play Solitaire, do a quick YouTube video on how to play it. It's a lot of fun, uh, definitely time consuming if you're looking for some way to pass the time, but essentially you are dealt a bunch of different stacks of cards and uh, you have to place aces at the top and then continue funneling cards uh, through the different piles to win the game you have to successfully get all of the uh, suited cards in order on top of those top four aces um, the game works very simply where you can just tap a card to move it from one spot to another you've got your deck that you can shuffle through there's an ace so i'll tap the ace and then tap a spot to place it uh, and then you can just move through continuing to play the game, I've got a red three, so I need a black uh, four somewhere to place that, so I don't have that. But essentially, this is just moving through the solitaire game. When you start off, um, it actually starts you on the main menu, and uh, you've got all these different gaming options. The rest of these, unfortunately, are all locked, unless you do want to pay uh, a fee for the app, and I'll let you just, if you tap on one of the locks, it essentially moves you to the Google Play Store um, I, I just like playing the free uh, solitaire version that's on here. The dots that are over on the right side of the screen give you options like you can undo, give cards again, start a new game, or return to the main menu. Uh, but this is playing solitaire on your watch. It's a little uh, cumbersome at times trying to click on the cards. My fingers, I would say, are kind of bigger fingers, but it does definitely work. And uh, it's a fun game uh, to pass the time. This is Solitaire for the Galaxy Watch 4. So the next app I want to tell you about is Connection Stress Relief. Let's jump into this. So if you uh, can think of those board games where you've got uh, the pegs on a board, so like Pig Solitaire, where you have to jump over other pegs and essentially end up with one of them, that's kind of like this. Essentially what you're doing is you need to connect the different dots in the different holes but you need to use up all the holes without leaving any holes left over so like this yellow dot down here I can connect over to this one and this one and then I can continue using I can continue connecting now I just screwed up there um, but let's do that and then let's do that now this blue one I'm going to need to connect. So I've used all the dots on this particular puzzle. So we start getting a little more challenging. I have to figure out how I can use all the different holes to get all the dots in them. And then as you move into some of the more complex boards, at this point I can cross over uh, because I see that white dot. So let's cross this one and this one. That completes that particular puzzle. So for this puzzle, I can't cross any one of the dots, but I have to end up with this green on these green dots. Awesome, and then I can do that. Okay, and that completes it. So you get the gist of it. Very fun game to keep your mind thinking. So now let's take a look at Shapes, another anti-stress therapy puzzle game. So this is another fun puzzle game where you just rotate the uh, different hexagons to create... Um, whatever shape it is that's going to complete that particular puzzle. I'm just going to tap on the uh, different shapes to rotate them. And this is going to start off with very easy puzzles and then get more challenging as you move through. So this was level three. Now we move on to uh, level four. And you can see here it's starting to get a little bit more complex. Let's complete this one. I find that it's helpful to start with the corners, just so you start getting an idea of what the shapes are going to look like. Probably the most frustrating thing for me is I've got what I would consider fat fingers. So sometimes when I'm trying to turn this tile, I accidentally knock that tile, and now I have to... Uh, I have to redo it to make sure that I have it ready to go but when it's finished there we go so that actually was two shapes that I created it definitely does get harder as you keep moving up the levels because I thought I was creating one shape and as I keep rotating everything here I start to realize nope that's not not the right shape wow and that's what it wound up being so 
Definitely a great uh, app to uh, waste a lot of time on or spend a lot of time really <laughs> churning your brain inside out. This one is Shapes. So the next app I want to show you is Sudoku. You can play Sudoku right on your watch. And if we open this up, you have different options as far as playing numbers, colors, or images. But the only free thing that you can play on this app is the play numbers. Colors and images, if you tap those, is going to uh, prompt you to purchase it. And uh, that's your choice. But if you want to do the free uh, levels on this app, you can click on the numbers. And then you have easy, normal, or hard. And if we click on this, if you've never done this before, uh, it does time you. But essentially, to figure out this puzzle, you have to enter in the numbers that are missing on each row. So each row is going to have numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I have 1, 4, and 2. So I know this has to be 3. And then that tells me this has to be 1. And I can keep working through the different rows and columns based on the numbers that I've already put in to help me figure out what other numbers are needed. Uh, I know that this has got to be a 4, and I know that this has to be a 3. So from that point, this has to be a 2, and there you go. I just won that round. So from this point, I can move to maybe the normal or the hard. Uh, and it's fun to just kind of go through these different puzzles and uh, pass some time. So feel free to download uh, Sudoku and have some fun. So this next app is Infinity Loop, calm and relaxing uh, puzzle game. Let's go into it. And uh, very similar to some of the other uh, puzzle games where you're going to be rotating the lines to create whatever uh, shape it's going to be to complete that particular puzzle. So with each progressive level, they do get a little bit harder. And, and part of the challenge is trying to figure out what the design is going to be. Kind of a, a a teaser there that confused me thinking all of them needed to connect to one shape doesn't necessarily have to be that. So part of the puzzle is connecting them and then the other half that's racking my brain is trying to figure out how many different separate connections there are. So very cool puzzle. This is Infinity Loop. So leave me a quick comment down below as to what level on uh, Infinity Loop or I guess any of these puzzles really that you are able to get up to. Uh, let me know how far you're able to get. So next let's take a look at Slide Puzzleware. Essentially you're gonna do different pictures. You have to create different pictures. So there's 10 of them to choose from. And let's go ahead and pick this one. And from this point, you've got all your different squares mixed up. And you're just going to kind of tap the different squares to keep rotating them until you create that particular picture. And at any time, if I'm getting frustrated, I can just swipe back. And that takes me back to all these different puzzles. So I can kind of choose which puzzle I want to work on. And if you have found at least one of these games to be fun, interesting, or useful, take a second right now, smash that like button. It does take me a while to make these videos. And by hitting that like button, it helps out this video, this channel, and it lets me know that you care. So the next app I want to tell you about is Search Minds Where. And essentially, this is Minesweeper. If uh, you were ever a fan of playing Minesweeper uh, on like your Windows computer, that's essentially what this is for your watch. Uh, you uh, can choose what shapes you want for the mines. Let's go uh, with square. And then you can choose how many mines you want. Uh, I'm going to start off with three. And we've got all of our different squares. And we've got a timer timing us at the top. And as you tap, it's going to bring up uh, showing you the numbers here. So I know that there's one mine connected there. There's two mines there. And uh, you can keep tapping based on where you think, uh, you know, you don't want to hit a mine because that's going to end your game. You can long press down on different squares by uh, just, I just held my finger down on that square. And then that kind of marks where I think a mine is going to be. Uh, you can also press again to unmark it. I will say, because the screen is so small, sometimes playing this and doing that, I mean to press on one square, and when I press on it, I wind up pressing the wrong square, which usually winds up uh, making me explode. But, uh, uh, so there you go. Uh, I was able to win on that one. 
Uh, I was able to uh, avoid the three mines. You can do six mines, ten mines. In addition to that, you can do uh, circles. So let's just show you an example here. Let's do six mines and um, keep clicking. I hit one of the mines, so now game over. So that's kind of uh, Minesweeper. And uh, if you're not quite sure how to play Minesweeper, you can just Google uh, how to play Minesweeper online. Watch a quick YouTube video on how to play it. But a very fun, free version of uh, Minesweeper, except it's called uh, Search Mindsware on the Galaxy Watch 4. And in addition to this video, I've also done some other helpful tips and tutorial videos on the Galaxy Watch 4, including my 18 things to know and do first with your Galaxy 4 watch. So if you haven't watched that yet, be sure to check that out. There'll be a card popping up here as well as I will link to that video down in the video description below, which is part of my Galaxy Watch 4 playlist videos that I've done so that you can get more out of using your watch. So the next app I want to tell you about is General Knowledge Quiz. And this app is essentially an endless uh, stream of random questions and they are definitely very random with multiple choice answers. So let's let's see here, which is a type of coat with a hood? I honestly have no idea. Let's uh, Let's do this one. Um, okay, so then it shows me I got that one wrong and the green one is the correct answer. Some of these are really out there. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to say this one. Nope. So you can see I'm, I'm doing real well. What's the mixing of additional recordings and the post-production of a film to create a final soundtrack? I'm going to say it's dubbing. All right, I got that right. So if you get it right, you get it green, and if you get it wrong, it shows uh, a red uh, a red block telling you you got it wrong. What is important to consider during CPU overclocking? Uh, I'm going to say cooling. Yeah, and I got that one right. So it just continues to give you all these random questions, and you can kind of test your trivia knowledge here to see uh, how good you do with all these different random questions on the general knowledge quiz app. So the next app, uh, this is probably uh, not so much a game, but useful if you like playing board games or if you're doing something where you need a counter, you can download Wear Counter for free and this turns your watch into some sort of a counter. So you can just tap up if you're counting up to keep track of stuff. Um, down to bring it back down. If you swipe from the bottom of the screen, you can reset or go into settings. You can change the increments. So right now I was going up by one, but I can go up into increments of five, 10, all the way up to a hundred, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and then from that point, swipe back and now you'll see that the numbers will go up by a hundred as I'm going through the counter. What happens when I get to a thousand? Oh, look at that. Well, that's cool. All right, so you can uh, change that. You can reset. The other thing that is cool about the settings is you can go in and you can change the theme color. So if you want green, red, all different options using uh, the Wear Counter app. The next app I want to tell you about is Score Counter. This is great if you're going to some sort of a sports game or maybe you're playing a board game where you need to keep track of two different scores. Uh, essentially, you got a split screen, and if you tap at the top of the screen, that's going to increase the numbers. Uh, so you can keep track of whoever's got whatever score. You can go up or down. I actually uh, tapped because <laughs> I wanted to see if it'll go up to 100. It will. Uh, it'll it'll go into the 100. So I would imagine you're probably, uh, you can go up into the several hundreds. Unfortunately, you can only count by ones. Um, if you want to reset either one of these counters, if you just long press on the numbers, that's going to go ahead and reset your counter. But if you're looking for a simple, convenient uh, dual counter for your watch, this definitely gets it done. This is just simply score counter. And the next app I want to tell you about is Dice. And uh, essentially, it's frustrating if I want to go play a game and it requires a dice and I go in to look for that dice and I can't seem to find it. Here's your answer right here. You can turn your watch into a dice by downloading this particular app. And you can choose here how many dice you want and then how many sides to that die. So in this instance, uh, let's do one dice with six different sides. And I'll go ahead and spin. 
and it's just going to keep generating random numbers as if I was shaking the die and then getting whatever number it was. Now, if I was going to do two die, I can do six sides, eight sides. I think it goes all the way up to 100. Um, it won't show you individual numbers, but it'll show you, let's say I was doing two six-sided die, uh, it'll, it'll add those together to give you random numbers uh, that way. So this is just simply the dice app and very useful if you uh, are in need of a die uh, for your watch and I can't seem to swipe back so I'll just do that to get back to my apps page. Uh, but there you go, dice allowing you to uh, shake some dice on your wristwatch. So I'm interested to know what is your favorite puzzle game that I mentioned in this video or is there one that you know about that I need to know about that I didn't mention in this video? Let me know down in the comments section below. Hey, my name is Jeff. It has been my pleasure giving you guys these great puzzle games. I do wanna let you guys know that coming out in just the next few days, I'm gonna be giving you my top free uh, best arcade games to play on the Galaxy Watch 4. So if you don't wanna miss that video, if you haven't subscribed yet, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell, and you'll get notified every time I release new weekly videos um, maybe that video has already come out by the time you're watching this. If it has, it'll be linked in my best apps for the Galaxy Watch 4 playlist down in the video description below or popping up at the end of this video as well. My name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.